So, this is my movie review on a film made before 1980s. Um, before the 1980s, I guess. So, I'm... <laughs> I'm inside of a trunk right now because it is very loud inside my house. Um, there, I'm at my grandma's house, so there's only two rooms because she lives in an apartment. So that's <laughs> that's why I'm in a car, if you're wondering. So the film that I chose is a 1953 film directed by William Wyler. Um, uh, starring Audrey Hepburn, Gregory Peck, and Eddie Albert. Uh, Audrey Hepburn is known for her character Polly in um, the Breakfast at Tiffany's film. Gregory Peck is known for uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, which is a really good movie. So is Breakfast at Tiffany's, but if you ever read the book of To Kill a Mockingbird, the movie is very good as well. And Eddie Albert is from, like, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, he's from Oklahoma. If you like musicals, he's from Oklahoma. He's also in the uh, Green Acres movies, uh, which I love the Green Acre movies, so. But the film I chose is called Roman Holiday. If my phone would like to stay. Um, and it is about a news reporter who finds a girl on the side of the road in Rome. Uh, he doesn't know who she is, but her name is Anne. And the reporter's name is Joe Bradley, played by Gregory Peck, and Anne played by Audrey Hepburn. Um, and, uh, Audrey Hepburn's character, Anne, plays princess, plays a princess, um, who is very bored with being a princess, wants to experience life as a normal girl, uh, as a normal, like, citizen, uh, they never specify what she, what country she's the princess of, but it's just somewhere in Europe. Uh, but Joe Bradley is a news reporter who, uh, him and his friend Irving Radovich, um, who is a photographer for the newspaper, uh, they end up finding out that Anne is the princess by, uh, Joe looking, seeing the newspaper with her picture on it, recognizing that's the girl he brought home to his house, uh, to his apartment, I guess. And so, with them knowing that she is a princess, they, Joe decides to pretend like he doesn't know that she's the princess, and decides to take her on the trip or not the trips, but the adventures that she wanted to experience. So, one of them, she, like, some of them she did on her own. So, she went and got her hair cut, uh, which she wasn't allowed to do. Uh, they went and ran into the police a couple of times. Uh, but... Joe thought that it would be a good idea to take her on these trips because he wanted to make money uh, by having the princess tell him all her, like, truths, I guess, so he could write about it. And he brought Irving along so he, that he could document it, taking pictures of them doing all these things. And I'm not going to spoil the end, but... They do end up liking her, uh, and, uh, Joel, <laughs> Joel, Joe and Anne, like, have a moment, uh, 
I, I wouldn't say that like, they fell in love, but she like grew attached. They grew attached to each other. Um, there definitely was a connection, but since she's a princess and he's just a plain old news reporter, life happens. Uh, so this film was actually nominated for 15 awards. It won three Oscars, including including Best Actress in a Leading Ro- Role, uh, Best Costume Design, and Best Writing slash Motion Picture, which I don't know why I was surprised when I found that out, because it's Audrey Hepburn. She's amazing. Um, and even though the film is black and white, there is, or the version I watched was in black and white, like the original is, but there is a one that you could probably find that's in color. Uh, but even though it wasn't black and white, the costumes were amazing and uh, very cute, very, I, I feel like it would be, it's good for that, like, time. And I thought the writing was amazing. There was a part that reminded me a lot of Pretty Woman, which is a later, like a more recent film, um, which they obviously got from Roman Holiday, if you think about it. Uh, and I, I laughed so hard watching this movie. It was so cute. Uh, if you like older films or you just like, happy movies i recommend this film 100 percent uh audrey hepburn um gregory peck eddie albert were amazing in it uh <laughs> i don't know i just i really like this movie um i know some people who would not like a older film because they say that they're all like but i don't i don't see that i don't I don't know. I don't see that they're all like. I love, like, one of my favorite actors is Danny Kaye, so I own all the Danny Kaye movies. Um, so yeah, go watch it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little movie review. Um, I'm probably gonna do more, even though, even if it's not for my class. Yeah, it's hot in this in this car, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.